Hey everybody, I'm Adam. I'm Michael. And today, we're going to talk about Rocket Man and the Deadwood movie, because we're born in Ohio. First of all, which do we, what are we talking about first? Well, do you want to do one where we mostly agree almost everything on or start with one where we conflict quite a bit on? (laughs) Let's save the fireworks for last. Okay. Rocket Man. Rocket Man. (laughs) Yeah. I enjoyed this movie. You still have yet to see Bohemian Rhapsody and I fucking forgot. Why do you should have reminded me to bring that? Motherfucker, you've been talking about. Having me and Kara borrow it or whatever. You guys were supposed to come over last week on Wednesday. For some reason, you didn't. I don't know why. You did not. I made plans with you. No, you didn't. I swear to God, when I was here for the last recording, I sat outside with Kara, and you came out, and I and I said, "What about Wednesday? Because Claire's gone. We can watch Alien." And she said, "Okay." No one told me. I forgot about it. Absolutely, you forgot about it too because we didn't get together. Okay, so fuck yourself. You can't hold me accountable for something it's you didn't even realize fault. was going to fucking go on. Piece of shit. Anyway, anyway. Rocket Man. Rocket Man. Um, I was really curious, because I saw this before you, I was really curious how what you would think, because you don't like musicals. No. And they used musical in a way. Transitions, for this, yeah. Yeah, for transitions. But it wasn't... Musical music. It was musical in the in the form that it was, you know, all of a sudden people broke out in song and dance, but they weren't singing music that was telling the story. Yeah, which I, I'm, I'm honestly, I don't know if I liked or disliked that. I'm kind of indifferent because I kind of wished because he does have many songs that they could have used for transition mm-hmm. that would almost fit everything that was going on. I thought several things did. S- several things did. Yes, I agree. But, I mean, they, visually they were showing the passage of time yeah. while we just get to hear, like, a cool Elton John song. Yes. Yeah. Performed by Taron Edgerton, who I think knocked it out of the fucking park. He was great. He's not Freddie Mercury great, but he's right up there. I you mean, mean right up Rami there. You mean Rami Malek? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give it... I, I, I haven't even seen Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm still going to give it to Edgerton because he did all, all of his own singing. So did... No, so, he didn't. He did do all his own singing. Let's shh, shh, shh. He did do all of his own singing for all of those, but they had to bring in other people to hit the notes he couldn't and sing over him. And they used actual audio of Freddie Mercury sure. as well. But he did do it. So he didn't do it. Oh, motherfucker. He, he, technically. That's like saying, I rode a bike. Yeah, with training wheels. It's still a bike. So you rode yeah. it? Well, no. Yeah. No. Just because you can't balance yourself, you dumb motherfucker. Yeah, but Edgerton could. Okay, anyway, just because he can sound kind of like Elton John, let him go. I agree. It's it's like when uh, Joaquin Phoenix, he sounded a lot like Johnny Cash. Let the man fucking sing. No one sounds like Freddie Mercury. Nobody. So, and don't fucking even think about telling me that leading guy that's with Queen now from fucking American Idol. I have no idea what you're talking he's, about. Uh, no, he's weird. Anyway, <clears throat> Transitions. The first one happened, and I go, first of all, you thought I you were you were in for a long, I did, the long haul, right? Because I didn't, I didn't like. That's just because you don't like kids. No, I didn't like the <laughs> choreography. I'm watching this weird dance thing start, and I go, "Fuck me!" If it's like this the whole fucking time, I'm gonna want to shoot myself in the face. The second one was very similar to the first one. I'm like, "Here we, go. we're still doing this shit." The second one that bothered me, I should say, which was uh, when he is now Elton. And um, uh, the one, I'm, I'm not saying the direct second one, but the other one that yeah. bothered me was at the fa- at the carnival, the fair. He oh. wasn't Ellen yet <clears throat> then. He, yeah, he was. I don't think he was. He was because I got irritated watching him not doing the dancing with everybody else and standing off the side doing this like jig fucking bullshit while everyone else was dancing by the carnival shit. Don't you remember this? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that one, I'm like... Why is he not out there? He was dancing. Now he just stopped and he's just watching I everybody think else dance. He knew. He <laughs> just knew. This was a choice by the actor. Oh, for fuck's who sake. who I know personally 
is a listener of the show. Mm. And mm. he mm. was afraid that he was going to be called some kind of animal bitch. Oh, the, the, <laughs> the rhino bitch. <laughs> He's like, I listen to this podcast, these two random guys in Ohio. Yeah. yeah. And I know they're going to watch this fucking movie. They are. And I don't want to be made fun of for being the front person in a, in a musical dancing number if I show too much emotion and if I come at the screen in any kind of way. Oh, if he would have been in front at any point in any of those, in any of those cast dances, it would, I would have been pissed. I'm like, no, he needs to be in the center of it because it all revolves around him. <clears throat> it revolves around him. Yeah. This, it, this is his life. Don't put him up front because it makes everyone else like they're following him in his life and they're not. They, they, I'm saying thematically. Thematically. Yeah. They have to do that. Anyway. And the third one that bothered me uh, was the oddness of him singing in studio and then the woman he eventually marries as his cover. Oh, when she starts singing. It was just, she had a great, gorgeous voice. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, that scene was really just fucking odd with me. Like, I'm like, it took me out of watching the film, right? I knew, I mean, obviously what they were trying to do was show a connection because they didn't really get into that story. They just touched on it. That yeah, Elton sure. got married at some point. Yeah, just, um, did you not? Did it? Did it feel weird to you at all? I mean, for some reason, and I can't pinpoint exactly what it was. No, it was that just didn't feel weird. To it me. was just weird to me. Um, other than that, I was. Uh, all the other transitions I liked very much. I loved it when he came to America and did that first uh, concert. If you, I didn't like when he floated. See, I did. Because I th- I thought they were trying to show visually that what he was able to do his first time coming here was to make everyone come off their feet. Like, this guy's amazing. Listen to him. And they kind of portrayed that with that whole... I get that. I get that it was too long. Like, he when he when especially when his feet were going up, I'm like, how much higher are you going to raise his fucking feet here? And it went a little long. It probably could have been cut down a, you know, a few seconds, probably about 10 seconds. I, I sure, liked yeah. it visually. Um, <clears throat> so I'm, that's usually the part that takes me out of these types of movies when they do some kind of fantastical thing like that. Same thing happened to me with uh, La La Land oh, when nope, they were they were dancing and all of a sudden they were dancing in the sky or they started floating and I'm like I don't like that. No, I they they, no, they I almost lost me that. again when they sh- literally shot him like a rocket oh, into the sky. Yes, I. Agree. But that was a great transition where he like ends up in the plane and his hair was smoking. Yes. I was like, okay, they saved that. Yeah. No, I usually, agree. When, I would when they did this. that too, I completely agree. I was going to say, you just shit the bed on this now. Cause this is going to, this is going to really bother me, but no, it, th- that saved it at the end. Um, I, I thought the casting was really well done mm-hmm. with everybody. Like the guy playing his dad was, he was really good. Like the emotionless I shit. Everybody. And it was, even, genuinely even, really good even little elton at first who i thought was going to annoy me yeah ended up being pretty great even towards the latter when he hugged himself when he was little mm-hmm. you know in the whole therapy set session i uh i i visual the, this director did a pretty damn it's not moulin rouge amazing which is just artistic splendor this is in his own way different and he did an, an excellent job with it i really liked it mm-hmm. uh what I liked about it, I like, cause like any of these biopics, there's pretty, they're pretty formulaic. Like, uh, you watch the person come into the whatever and they get popular and then they have some kind of problem with drugs and alcohol or mm. sex. And then they, they have, you know, they're, they're falling out, they get angry and like all of those movies have that. Yeah. But I think the way they did this with the transitions and like, Kind of like they they told that's the same kind of story that we're used to, but in a different way. Yeah, you're like, gonna be disappointed made it with feel... Bohemian Rhapsody because of that, because he was very much like Elton, if not worse, mm-hmm. s- just a sexual deviant. Like, but they don't they didn't give it to you. Like, I mean, some of the sex stuff was like I'm glad they showed that. You know, it was uh, but they didn't with Freddie much. They just kind of mention it and that he had sex parties. They show him at part, yeah. but they don't really get into it. You I know? gotta yeah, I gotta mention the. Um the sex scene with Elton and his manager, uh, Rob Stark. Yeah. With Rob Stark, who was doing his actual accent. Cause which, he is Scottish, which I did like, I liked um, hearing his. Yeah. Yeah. He was good though. I thought he yeah, was good. He was fantastic. Uh, 
Kara afterwards was like, she's, well, yeah, suck that Mountain Dew down. Could I could hear, hear I, oh, I heard every bit I got bit this of frog it. in my throat. It's probably like four. You want something else <clears> in your throat? <throat> no, I'll get enough tools. <laughs> tools, tools. You go on, please. Um, after the movie, she was like, she was kind of amazed because, and that I agree with this, like this is the first time I remember watching a film and having had them do a homosexual sex scene in a very normal, natural way. Yeah. And they haunt, they shot it like they would if it was a straight couple and they held on it as long as if it was a straight couple. Yep, I agree. And I was like, look at that. Like, I haven't actually seen that. And maybe that's because I, I haven't seen enough movies. No, but I haven't seen it. I haven't I seen it like that, that either. The yeah. way that they treated that scene and they shot it as if they was just a straight couple, I thought was fantastic. And I yeah. was like, it's like it I feel like it's only like weird when they 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 like they start and then they 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 pan away like oh you can't see that but right. now like you're like it's just two people yeah having a moment yes it reminded me a lot of uh, the Top Gun love making scene it was almost shot very similar to that was it yeah and I kind of like I kind of liked that I like it was almost like a you know it might have even I wonder if even at that time it was close to the same year so that, you're telling me when this movie comes out you're gonna read do that scene with that music from Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I, I enjoyed it very much. I, I will definitely purchase it. Yeah. What do you, do you think there's something uh, more capitalistic going on with these, these biopics coming out of people like, so th- think of it like so, like movies. Yeah. They'll either reboot or do sequels because it's a known commodity and they know they can get more money out sure. of it. And they're like, oh, we got these. Everyone loves Elton John. Everyone loves Elton John. Everyone loves Freddie Mercury. Mercury. Yeah. Is it like, are they just strategically like, we should do a biopic now so we can sell, also sell more records and make more money? I don't know. I'd be interested to see how many more Johnny. I'm sure Johnny Cash's albums went up quite a bit right after that came out. Oh and, yeah, you, uh, you know, like. But Ray, I don't know if Ray, if they sold a lot more with Ray or not. But I don't know. I wonder if like I wonder if the the you know record labels have kind of a formula for this. Like, if our artist stays popular mm-hmm. and like doesn't fuck up, like do like a Cosby or some shit. Uh, like we know like this age is when we should do a biopic if they're still alive or if they're dead, we can do it whenever the fuck we want. Yeah. Well, and then like, they'll sell more albums. But you're interested, right? Like I would watch. Well, I'm not, I'm, I see, I don't want to diminish the fact that I think Elton John, I love Elton his John. story yeah. works and, and deserves yeah. a film. But I always wonder like, cause you know, this whole thing's a big money making machine. Like if that, if there was literally somebody was like, okay, now <laughs> look, if they're going to do that and they're, they're doing their, their diligence of finding a really interesting director doing it, mm-hmm. I'm all for it. If they're just pushing shit out, like they do horror films, for example, and they're just getting on whoever the fuck else to do whatever movie to continue it on, like, you know, to, to get a little quick little money hit, then I'm going to hate this stuff real quick. Well, I think <clears throat> Bohemian Rhapsody basically. So, I mean, this that's kind of starting the because it got so much attention. Yeah. And now you have Rocket Man, and it's doing well. I mean, it's like how, how much money is it made? Because I, I, I mean, I know it, it, it's it's made well over its acclaimed. budget. I'm sure because I'm sure that movie didn't cost much to make. Yeah. Because no. Taron Egerton's not exactly a you know prime leading man yet. Right. Although I have. If you seen the Kingsman movies, that they're fun. If you haven't seen them, no, you won't watch them. You know, uh, Claire and my, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Claire and my brother-in-law, Aaron, um, swear up and down. I would love it. They're like, you would love it. The first one. I haven't, they haven't said sec- anything about the second. Claire hates him, but Claire likes that Kingsman movie. The first mm-hmm. one, she says it's really fun to watch, but she can't stand him. So I had to convince her to she see Rocket gone, Man, which she hasn't seen yet, but I'm like, mm-hmm. look. She's like, I'll, I'm, I'm going to watch it because I like Elton John. But she, I'm like, I'm telling you, regardless, the guy did a good job. Like, he really did a good, good job. I mean, he had to, it's it's odd. I, I'm interested. You're probably going to be, you're so sucked onto the taint 
of this guy as Elton, I hope it doesn't diminish when you see Malik's. No, because I, 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 I know that Malik is a great actor. And just I'm watching not... all of his mannerisms, how he pulled all of it off. Not, now, don't get me wrong. The Bohemian Rhapsody is nowhere near as good of a film as this one. It's just not put together as nice mm-hmm. and, and, and cut well, you know. Yeah. But just luckily you're able to follow him around the whole time. They don't follow everybody in Queen. You're really mostly focusing on on, on uh, Freddie. Freddie. So, mm-hmm. but um, I, I don't know. If I answer, I'm, I'm cool. I'd be interested to see a George Michael film. Like a biopic okay. on him, but they damn well better not fucking cheese it. You got to show him beating off in a fucking men's restroom and getting caught for it or outside of it. You know, I'm sorry. Don't, don't fucking take that out of it. If, yeah. If the guy did, if they do something wrong, they're human. That's what makes them human. Yeah. So show it, you know? Right. Everyone knows it. <laughs> fucking show it. Last thing I'll say about Rockman, I do like how they framed the story of him telling it while he's in rehab yeah i, I thought that was in, in the ridiculous costume he yeah he's in i like that, that was pretty good yeah <laughs> uh but yeah i would i would definitely recommend this movie definitely definitely yes are yeah. we gonna give it a grade uh, uh i'd give it a uh those three fucking I've transitions done, you know, really yeah, yeah, bother yeah. me so i'm going with b plus if it wasn't for the fact they bother me so much i'd probably give it an a minus i'm gonna give it an a minus all right. Now we get to the shit storm. Let's move on to Deadwood the movie. Yeah. And when I'm going to preface this by saying Mike's wrong. I'm sorry. Oh, for fuck off. <laughs> so, it, 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 so when someone's expecting a bit more effort put in, it doesn't make them okay. wrong. I, I don't know what you mean by a bit more effort. Uh, maybe you were expecting too much. Because uh, you, know what I was expecting? you know what they gave you? They gave you exactly what they gave you with the show. Oh, did they gave me Game of Thrones season eight, six episodes and one. Okay, motherfucker. This Deadwood movie told a more <clears throat> complete and well-paced story than all of season eight of Thrones. <laughs> Listen to me. I, and I know I kind of said this to you a little bit because I was a little bit irritated. I love you. I fucking loved, and you were the one that got me to watch Deadwood. Mm-hmm. I love Deadwood. I love all the characters, all the actors in it. I think it's so well written and so well done. And I was superiorly bummed out when it got canceled and they didn't get to finish just their story, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that, And I know that the movie's supposed to finish up the story. And that's that's really what it's supposed to finish up that the the loose end of that story. But fuck's sake, it did. man! It's nothing happened. Sure, it did nothing happened in that in that fucking movie? If you want to call it a movie, it, what a little bit of progress happened with each character? I mean, a tiny little few steps forward after the ten year, you know, whatever this that these notes. And and I know that they they try to. I don't know if the term's loosely, but they try to stay, because these are all real people. They try to stick with what, exactly what happened with each one as much as they can. That also fits around them shooting mm-hmm. the story. And and I like that. I want them to do that. But what the fuck happened in this in this movie? I'll tell you, I'll tell you all that you want to know. We're gonna get we're gonna get into spoiler today. If you haven't watched the movie, don't. No, do absolutely do absolutely do, but don't think it's any of the first three seasons you saw. It, it's not even, yeah, no, it's not. You're wrong. Okay. The worst thing this film did was show the flashbacks because it didn't need it. Oh, those flashbacks were yes, <sighs> and over and over again they were showing. Flashbacks. Well, what I don't understand is like when you introduce flashbacks yeah. in a show like that. It's not for the benefit of the people that watch the show because they know those things that yeah. happened. It's for the potential new viewer, which, fuck you, this movie ain't for you. It was for me. It was for imagine. all the people Can you that imagine watched a new viewer it. seeing this and ever watching a Deadwood at all, watching this movie and being like, what the fuck did I just even watch? Because really, what the fuck did I just even watch? Some guy really wants some fucking land. Some guy kills somebody for the land. That happens in every fucking Western movie out there. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> Swearingen eventually dies from his drinking and or sex problem. <laughs> from you know, well, what, that's a natural that's end for natural that character. That's the natural for that character. I agree. And, and, and what else? What else? The whole point of it. 
was to finish off asshole, was which they to, didn't even finish off. The guy yes, they did. The guy goes to jail, but he's not even fucking held more than what? What, what was that? I think it was under ten days, if I read it correctly. He oh, served, you read the you read the history? Yeah, the guy served like no time. He was fucking out. Okay, so they ended at the perfect fucking point. That makes you think that there was some justification and stuff was... It no, it goes you, right it back to shitstorm. It gave you the highlight of the moment, which was the downfall of Hearst. There was, there was many well, parts me, of that stick, movie... Stick with that. I'm going to ask you a quick question. Okay. And then I want you to continue. But of the three seasons you watched, your whole thing, for you as, a, as the viewer, I'm asking you personally, mm-hmm. was, man, I really wish I would have seen what happens to this piece of shit not for me for me i'm watching these characters who i grow i grow to love with these actors and i want to see what happens with all these people in a fulfilling ending for each one of those i could give a shit about one the guy is, at the, you in the third can't season give everybody a satisfying ending in one two-hour event they got this and he said fine i'm gonna do it give me the sheriff and give me al that's all i need finish that off that's fine and i completely respect that point of view i'll take more of bullock and swear engine any day yeah but Given the story that they had, the natural climax would be how does Hearst get get kind of his comeuppance, right? Because he was a main character since season two, and he's the main villain. I mean, he's kind of the reason that Al becomes kind of a good guy. Sure. And with quotation fingers, good guy, because he's still a piece of shit. But I love that piece of shit. I love that piece of shit, yeah. But for Hearst... So the big things that happened with Hearst, he was denied by Charlie mm. when he wanted the land. Right. Then he had some guys kill Charlie. Right. The guys that he had kill Charlie got ratted out by I Samuel Fields. <laughs> Don't want to say his nickname because that's a that's a bad racial yeah. bad yeah. thing. Uh, and then. When he sends the guys to go kill him, they get found out. Hurst shoots, has one of the guys shot. Before whatever. he's able to, to say, he's able to say anything. Right. Which would usually get him squared away. But that didn't. <laughs> also, when he wanted to bid for Charlie's land, he couldn't outbid Alma. That was Alma getting her comeuppance on Hearst. That was also showing Hearst's decrease in power. Also, previous, like, previously in the film where are you Trixie just, are just you called him out on the street. You're explaining this to the, to the viewers, right? Because you're, I'm you're, explaining this to YouTube oh, because I apparently you didn't of, get no, it. No, I got all this shit. All of it. And then the people beat him in the street. Yeah, they beat him in the street. The yeah. people, they're not afraid of him anymore. So, and then he went to jail why didn't Bullock and his just, last secret agent failed. Why didn't Bullock just fucking arrest his ass? From the very beginning. I'll, I'll explain why I said that. Because... Uh, like the very name, beginning, Sa- like in season no, two? Sam, when... You can even say this movie. When Sam... Yeah, you could even go back that far if you wanted to. Because Sam... I forget the guy's name, but the bad words... Samuel yeah, Fields. The racial one. He dies. In that bed. Bullock's holding his... He dies, and Bullock's crying because the guy dies. Okay, so there goes his witness. He didn't die. He, it, it, it portrays it as if no, he dies. he was crying because of... The last moments of Charlie that okay. Samuel Fields was describing to Let's him. Let's just say he doesn't die. All right. Let's he just didn't. okay. So he didn't die. So where's Bullock's proof? He brings his eyewitness over there, right? His a- proof after was... he gets the guy shot. So what's his proof to arrest Hurst? Where where's his proof? How's he arrest him? How's he grab him, take him to the street where he gets the shit kicked out of him and he puts him in jail? When when is there ever proof shown? So fucking arrest him two seasons ago. He has nothing on the guy. He literally, he can't use the yes. as witness as, as no. they kind of, yeah, they can't use him. No, so, well, so, his case is gone, but he can still throw him in jail. This is why the guy gets out of jail. Do you understand, right? Yeah, that's okay. fine. But I'm trying to say to you, Plus, it's, it's a in, stupid in that, story, what you just gave us. The, you know, it, it's, how? it's the best story. they Otherwise, they're just making it up. But I'm saying to you, how is that satisfying to you as a movie that you've been waiting 10 years to watch? It's... It's not about the movie. It's about the story as a whole. You, if, you, if you take into consideration the seasons with this, they're trying to wrap up the loose ends of the series as best they can with the limited time that they have, and I think they accomplished that. How? Like, <laughs> how, did that, how does that work for you? You I, just explained to me 
which I already knew this is based off of real events. Right. So what I'm trying to say to you is... So they gave gave you the best version of that... This is the guy's story see. he wanted to tell all the way through to arrest no. some asshole. You know, if he would have got the the, uh, the final season that he wanted, of, wanted this would have been told in a much more thought out, intricate way. Sure. But like anything, like a film is a different medium than a TV series. You have time to develop the characters. I think you're misunderstanding And me. he was like... You are misunderstanding me. No, I'm not. Yes. What story is this guy trying to tell? Is it is the mean? whole story he wanted to do? Let's say he wanted when he came to HBO, he's like, you know what I want? My 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 idea is to do four seasons or five seasons. Basically, I want to show these characters, and then there's this asshole senator that comes along. I can't tell you what story you wanted to tell. I'm saying I don't. I would never want to watch this show if I knew that's what the story was about. If the guy had further plans, which we don't know, maybe he, he, want, maybe did. he wanted to go eight seasons and go a little bit further no, and no. see how Bullock. Does it was only this, supposed so that, to be four seasons. Then. I wasted my fucking hour and whatever the fuck that was. Why? Because <laughs> nothing happens in this movie. So you preferred? Yes, it does. What I'm trying to—if you acknowledge, if you're saying that I'm telling you things you already know, and you're not acknowledging those as things that happened, I'm tr- it was showing our characters rise to a level above Hurst. That's all it was doing. That's all it needed to do. How did Al rise above Hurst? Al was always above Hurst. <laughs> How? It was. It, it wasn't. doesn't. How does Bullock? He doesn't. The people Bullock. around him all did. Bullock was no, still Bullock just still... afraid to do shit to the guy the whole time to the very bitter. He was. He even... wasn't afraid. Oh, he wasn't. He's never. No, he wasn't afraid. He just can't. Why didn't he arrest him before then? He's got as much. He's proof. arrested him before. And he dragged him. him by the ear. But I'm trying to say the show, the movie itself, without somebody going and looking it up. Okay, is trying to portray that justice has prevailed. It hasn't. The show. So that's your fucking problem. That's my okay? problem. The the show's giving you basically a happy ending for the characters. I don't and want it. it does. I don't want it. I'd rather see him that he gets out ten days later and everyone's just like fuck. They and don't that's how have time to do that. Sure. And cut why a would you want down. that? Give why him ten would more you minutes. Want that? Give him ten more minutes. Why would you want that? That, that? To know that there's no fucking happy ending at Deadwood. Not in the West, baby. I'd like to have at least have that. That there's more of a dread, and I get a feeling. Charlie died. I get a feeling That was sad. From it. You didn't get sad when Charlie died? I love Charlie Fuck Utter. No. I, he, I, he's one character I didn't give a shit about the whole oh, time you I watched it. Heartless bitch. I'm sorry it's true. I didn't give a shit about that guy. What about Al? Were you sad when Al died? Uh, no, it's been too long. Well, maybe it's because P.S. I just rewatched the whole series again with Kara. That might be it. Because you know when, I love that character. When Jewel rubbed his feet and sang, they sang together. Oh, God, I never want to hear that again. I, I, I. <laughs> I, I, did you I, I, yeah I, 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 felt, I cried I felt absolutely nothing well that's because you're time. dead inside <laughs> yes the only way to get you to cry is like just to just fucking kick you in the dick <laughs> like multiple times until I see like a little bit of fucking salt water squeeze out of the fucking corner of your eye I'm you not... heartless bitch <laughs> okay besides that I'm just trying to say to you and I'm not trying to you're not wrong in the sense that sure things happened, but as a as 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 a person who watches so many shows and movies as we do, mm-hmm. you're always striving to have something. Give me something meaningful. Give me something you know interesting. Or he something. gave us two more hours with our characters. That's that's it, all. He that's was able my to problem. Do. Is that that's all he did? He just gave us two more hours of time with the characters we got nothing else out of this movie event nothing the show is always about the characters anyway yes but to to be honest the overarching story is secondary to me i've always just been in it for the characters i love the characters i love al i love fucking johnny burns i love big dan doherty i love them all yep i liked all of them too i still do like all the characters but I wasted two hours of my life. Well, that's your opinion. And it's your opinion that you didn't. Sure. But most people agree with me. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> I just wasted 15 minutes talking to you about this. I wait. That's how I feel about you. <laughs> Sitting here watching you drink some, like, fucking code red found I guess you don't have to worry about your sperm count anymore with the dyes they put in that shit. Is that what I have to worry about with that? Yeah. It's got some chemicals in there. It kills your shit. 
Yeah, I drink a lot of chemicals. You're disgusting. <laughs> I drink water and coffee and booze. Right. I drink mostly that. Anyway, obviously we're divided on the Deadwood film. Yeah. Uh, for me, the biggest faults of it were the needless flashbacks. And obviously this would have been better if it was a fourth season and not just a two hour movie. Because yes, they would I have had time to do more stuff. Opinion. I probably, yes, I can pr- probably guarantee I would have had a completely different opinion. I was just happy to have more time with my people. And I expected more. You should expect to fuck yourself. (laughs) (laughs) See what happens when we disagree completely with each other. (laughs) Yeah. I'm right and Mike's wrong. He is exactly, yeah. Yeah. He knows it. He knows it deep down. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So should we tell the people about our, 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 our new endeavor? Yes, yes. The tree horns. <laughs> the tree horns. Have you told the other guys? I told uh, I told Lanny. He giggled pretty hard about what it. What about I didn't say, Kyle I didn't tell, or I Kevin? Told, I haven't told Kyle or Kevin yet. So this will come as a surprise to them, but they're probably not listening anyway. Uh, we're starting up a, a bowling team. We're joining a, a local league, and we're going to be called the tree horns. Uh, for those of you that don't know, that is a reference to... Big Lebowski, Jackie Treehorn, the the porn producer, uh, who was drawing dicks. Um, I mean, we're a bunch of dicks. <laughs> so, we have some. So. We, we've got dicks. We we are dicks. Uh, I, if you you know put a gun to my head, I could draw a dick. Um, and we're so. we're joining this league because we're all very proficient uh, bowl all the time you you weigh more than me of course but that's not saying much since i haven't bowled in like 20 years Did you say i weigh more than you wait no way more you are proficient oh, way more than i thought me. you like physically say i weigh more what? than you it's so like you call me fat God damn it. i've been losing weight i have never thought i don't you know fat. why you keep knocking me down i don't know what well you're to- you're taller than me well, yeah, so i can be eye to eye to you you have to like knock me down a little bit no i want you down on my get waist. down here get down here so I can see you. I want you at belt line. No, never. <laughs> but we're fulfilling our our duty as uh, approaching middle aged men. <laughs> yeah, well, me more so, but yes, you more so than the rest of us. And we're hoping to continue this. Not not just for ten weeks. They don't care. We're getting our own bowling balls too, man. I well, already have mine. I don't. It's gonna be sweet. I'll, I'll get a, a different one eventually. Maybe. I was I told Kara, I was like, I, I think I'm gonna buy some new bowling shoes. And she's like, What the fuck are you doing that for? I was like, Is she Because I need us? new bowling shoes. She needs to support the cause, man. She was like, You have bowling shoes. I was like, Yeah, they're old as fuck and they're falling apart. I need new ones. Do you think that they'll put a cock and balls on my bowling ball if I ask for it? So you see the balls and the head come up, balls head, balls head, balls if head. If you want to keep doing this, I would recommend not doing that. Because I don't know if the bowling legal want that hmm. around. Do they let me children. put whatever else I want on the ball? Do you know? <sighs> no, usually you pick a ball design. No, I want graphics on my shit. Oh, do you not know how this works? I no, don't know if they I do that. <laughs> I don't know how it works at all. I, I think they have some predetermined like ball designs. I'm not happy. Even if if you had a graphic put on there, that graphic would be gone after this session well the colors don't go away they need to embed my graphic in in that okay. shit when they make the ball and you start up a new business graphic engraved balls <laughs> it's kind of like that uh <laughs> we should have come up with the idea for the kangaroo ball opener no that's so dumb we should do dogs and cats no no. You know any cat balls? No cat. Jesus Christ. Hey, you know what? They're not going anywhere when they when they fucking neuter and castrate these things. Let's take those parts and do something with them, man. And we'll make a charity out of it. Yeah, here's some cat ball earrings. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. Yeah. I don't want to. We can put little graphics on them. Little emojis. You, okay. We'll put little emojis. Faces. They're already balls. What you want to put 
something on the balls. Yeah, so you need to dress them up a little bit so people aren't like, are those cat balls? <laughs> they're already a, they're already an icebreaker. Are those balls on your ear? <laughs> you don't need to then go like, oh, and is that like that Pepe frog on what, the balls? What if we did those piercings where it could, the people that do them through their lips and we could make it so the pair of balls is lying on their chin? Think of the possibilities, Shut my friend. Shut the fuck up. End it. End it. You're blowing a business opportunity. End it. Until next time. I don't even know what to say. I miss you. Because we're born in Ohio. Yeah. I didn't say I was skull fucking anybody, so that one's okay. Yeah. Probably going to try to delete as much of that ball talk as possible. No, why would you do that? Because what was the point? It's like the rhino bitch shit all over again. Let this man speak. No, I got rid of that because you're just insane. This is just, just, I don't even know why we're talking about balls. I just thought it would be, well, you, I'm Uh, I'm disappointed. uh, uh, That's you. uh, uh. I hate you. <laughs>